Hey, I'm Alicia. Let's make an SVG. This is going to be a two part video with this video covering making an SVG in a vector program. And then part two is going to cover optimizing that SVG in an SVG tool. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this SVG in both Inkscape and Illustrator. Let's start by downloading the template we're going to use. Click make at the top of the site and then products. For this example, I'm going to use the three millimeter large acrylic shapes. Here's where you're going to download the templates you need, whether it's the Inkscape one or the 72 DPI one I recommend for Illustrator. Once you have them downloaded, open them in your program. Let's start in Illustrator. The first thing I do when I open a template is I double check its size. In Illustrator, you can use the artboard tool and then just check to make sure the size matches the size of the template. The one thing I want you to pay attention to for this tutorial is the safe zone. It's this dotted line around the outside. All of your cuts need to be inside that safe zone. If you have anything outside that safe zone, the file will be rejected. Once you're done reviewing the information on the template, you can go ahead and delete anything extra, leaving that blue dotted safe zone. Make sure to lock that layer and start a new layer for your paths. I prefer to set up a red cut line with no fill. In Illustrator, it's rather easy to go ahead and make a path. We can use a shape tool or the pen tool. Let's go ahead and click the square and we can click the canvas. Let's go ahead and make a three inch square. Now you have a square path. Let's do the same thing but for a circle. Now let's say you need to make a simple custom shape. You can do this with the shape tools. For example, I'll grab a square. And I want it to be about that big. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to move it so it overlaps with the circle. I can then select both objects under Pathfinder and combine or unite these shapes. And I'll have one path of this custom shape. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple shapes. When you're designing your paths, the thickness of the line doesn't matter because the laser will always cut down the middle of that line. Once you have your shapes done, make sure to delete the template. And then save your file. Let's try to make the same thing in Inkscape. When I'm working in Inkscape, I like to adjust my file so it's in inches. So I'm going to go to Document Properties. I'm going to set this to inches and the display unit to inches. And I'm going to double check the size. Once that's done, go ahead and close that. And just like before, I'm going to remove everything except for that dotted safe zone. Make sure to lock that layer and make a new layer. Just like before, I'm going to grab the square tool and I'm going to make a square. We'll make this one three inches as well. Now use the circle tool to make a circle. Now I'm going to rotate the square. Transform, rotate 45 degrees. Selecting both shapes, I'm going to go to path, union. And now using the shape tool and the pen tool, I'm going to go ahead and try to reproduce all the shapes we did in Illustrator. Once you have your paths created, make sure you delete the template. And then save your file. And that's how you make SVGs in Inkscape and Illustrator. In the next video, I'm going to cover adding NICs and optimizing these in an SVG tool like the one you find in Component Studio. I'll see you then.